Vinny wasn't just a punching bag, he was a punching bag with a plan. I felt like a diabetic at an ice cream buffet. I was tempted, but I knew it wouldn't be good for me. But the crowd's laughter bore down on him like a freight train, freezing him in his tracks. Kid still treated her like a shark in a school of guppies. What do you want, Stevens? It was like trying to sneak up on a three-headed cobra. Oh. The move was smooth and graceful. Her hair is swishing like a rain shower. She slid to the ground butt first, legs splayed. Eyes glazed over in shock. Nicole was completely out of it, as if her mind was hopping a bike and fled the scene. Mr. Carling never saw her come home at 2 o'clock in the morning, dog tired. I noticed for the first time that she was wearing a light blue cardigan. It made her eyes look bluer than a cloudless October sky. I approached a bunch of other kids I recognized from the scene of the crime. But like an English teacher in a room full of cheaters, I kept getting the same story. Mr. Lee! The kids in the playground formed a tight circle around him, laughing and pointing. The one cheated kickball game now forgotten. Nicole walked forward as if the floor were coated in ice. And those things that you're concerned about, those are just problems to tackle. Sorry, kiddo, you're in the deep end of the pool now, and I already have a pretty good idea of how strong a swimmer you are. It loves to sneak past it when you aren't paying attention and slow to a crawl when you are. Time is an elastic, shrinking and expanding in situations. Nikki Fingers, once the most fearsome girl in school, was reduced down to this. A terrified little girl scared to death of a picture from the newspaper. The other half of the photo was harder to find than a happy kid in a shoe store. I pulled out the forged hall pass from my back pocket, a realization hitting me like a blind cyclist.